In this video, I'll tell you the story about how I got a job with no experience or degree as a digital marketing data analyst. Now, this is a specific, unique job title that is not the same as a data analyst. It's similar, but it's less programming heavy and more focused on understanding and using various analytics and marketing tools to capture, track data, and then report and visualize that data. So let's just get started. So I actually graduated uh, with a degree in science from school, so it had nothing to do with data analytics. The closest I got to any class on it was a bioinformatics class, which had some light programming in it. And at the time, I thought I would pursue a career in science, possibly med school. After college, when I realized that that was not something I would ever really be passionate about, I explored other opportunities where maybe I could you know, excel better and enjoy it more. And one thing I found I really always liked was digital marketing. So specifically, I had always loved watching social media, following it. I was one of the first on Twitter, one of the first on YouTube, and just constantly loved doing that stuff. I even started a blog and learned a bit of SEO myself and grew that blog to be one of the top blogs in a online gaming community when I was a kid. Now at the time, these were just hobbies. I didn't expect them to be anything that could turn into a career, especially back then when the internet was more so in its infancy. Um, but slowly over time, I uh, realized that there was some benefit to you know, getting into this new and emerging space of uh, digital marketing and social media online. So one thing I did was I did a bunch of research and a bunch of informational interviews. I learned this through a course I took called Dream Job by Ramit Sethi. And through that job, um, I discovered an entire process where he calls it natural networking, where you, you know, reach out through LinkedIn to the people you admire at the companies and the job titles you admire. And a small percentage of them, maybe less than 5%, but you know, if you reach out enough with the right type of messaging, um, where you're not asking for a lot of their time and just you know trying to have specific questions prepared so you're not just picking their brain and letting them know you have this prepared and just want to chat for five to ten minutes um, I was able to do a lot of networking and learn a lot about various industries and job titles and companies and agencies and how those all worked when I didn't know before it also helped me get a foot in the door in a few places if there were job openings. Now, the point there is not really to um, try and get a job because that can turn them off, but really just to learn more about them and you know maybe subtly showcase your skills and your passion and your ambition, but more so just to learn about the job and industry. And that was kind of how I did it. And um, I was just doing a bunch of different things at the same time. Networking, really fleshing out my resume, trying to build skill sets and projects that I'd built myself since I didn't have a marketing degree. I thought that I could build projects and websites and stuff and showcase that on my resume and point back to that blog I built to really uh, catch the eye of all the different places I was applying to. It was a long journey. I applied to hundreds and uh, was starting to feel some despair. I would say I spent about a year and a half applying to be frank and during that time, um, I was actually you know, working in the service industry to kind of sub supplement that, the food service industry. Um, and now I had a huge breakthrough, which is uh, this agency, probably one of the best agencies in the state, reached out to me um, after I applied a second, or maybe it was a third time. And they admired my ambition and perseverance, but also what caught their eye was the stats on my resume. Um, in addition to that, I had actually done an informational interview with one of the employees there, but I don't think that really connected to the job offer. I think that happened like a few weeks prior, but it never really led to anything. But you know, that was really all those things working together got my foot in the door at an agency. I got the job offer, and what really stood out was you know me using SEO and all those skills to build a website 
and blog that got a lot of traffic back in the day. And lo and behold, I got my foot in the door in that agency and they taught pay-per-click, advertising, SEO, all the common things for marketing online. And this was a new and emerging field, so it was fantastic. And through that agency, I got to work with small mom and pop stores, roofing companies, law firms. Um, and then eventually we found our niche in business to business software. And uh, that was what ended up being most of our clients. And it was such a blessing to have that opportunity because that agency really taught me a lot of skills um, in order for them to have me do the work. Uh, they were often teaching, doing training sessions, uh, having me work one-on-one -on -one with someone for a meeting every now and then, and him teaching me, showing me how to do it. And they had a lot of documentation and internal training resources that really leveled up my skills in various tools like Google Analytics, Google Ads, SEO, you name it. And that was really the key. If you can really get your foot in the door at a agency, even if it's entry level, they will just teach you so much with real world experience across so many different clients, sometimes different industries. And then you can add that to your resume, add that to your portfolio. And now you're just on a much higher level because most companies are looking for real experience, real results, real numbers that you can show that you grew um, for real clients. And so another thing I did was I took an effort to document that and apply that for my other job postings. And after five years at the agency, which, you know, in agency years, that's like 20 years. Um, most people end up hopping around after one or two years, but I, I felt it was better to be loyal and stay and, um, you know, just keep learning and contributing to this agency. But, you know, after five years, I felt like it was time to make a move. And um, I did the same thing. I applied. I did natural networking. I did all these things to level up and improve and get to my next job and get that pay increase. And that is how I got my job at my current place, which I've worked for three years now as a digital marketing analyst. A lot of those advertising and marketing skills are interrelated. So I was able to apply them skill still. And uh, in this particular role, well, SQL and Python, they, it wouldn't hurt. They really cared more about having experience with various tools like Google Tag Manager, Power BI or Tableau or Looker Studio, Google Analytics 4. So basically web analytics, a custom tagging and tracking tool, and then your ability to essentially visualize those in some type of dashboard tool. And so those are the things that... I would also learn partially at my previous agency because they also did some reporting and analytics. And then some of it I had to learn myself and I was able to, to kind of know enough of it that I got that job offer and then self-teach myself and learn the rest online because there's so many free or very affordable courses and resources online that can teach you a lot of these tools. And then... I really think it comes down to the initiative and resourcefulness to learn these things. Either teach it yourself or find a way to network and get in. Like I said, the, it was a 5% response rate with the LinkedIn natural networking method. So you can imagine the amount of messages I sent out and the different types of testing I did with the messages I sent out to get all those tons and tons of uh, informational interviews. I, I never really counted them, but probably over... 50 over my lifetime I've done and uh, one last tip that I left out but is really important is the reason I got this job was actually through natural networking while I did apply through job postings to a bunch of different jobs and I did get some job interviews the, this one which was the best decision the best job offer out of the choices I had um, I got this because I did some networking and an informational interview with the now director of partnerships at this new uh, agency I work for. And I, I did some networking there and he was the one who brought up that I may be a fit for this job. It wasn't even on my radar. And then soon enough after that, I applied for this job and I got in. You see, these employees at these other companies, they absolutely love referring good candidates to their job. Internally, a lot of companies have problems hiring, but the problem is, they don't know if you're a good fit yet or not. And so they don't like it if you're just 
looking for a job and you don't have the credentials, that can be seen as a hassle. And so by networking the way I did, I learned more about their company, I learned more about them, and at the same time, I came prepared, I already had a lot of killer skill sets, and then when I could subtly show that, um, if the opportunity is right, they will mention it, because not only do they want to help their company, but usually a lot of these people also get referral bonuses, if they can refer someone who gets hired and stays with the company. So hiring the right quality people is an issue for a lot of these companies. They get a lot of applicants, but most of these applicants are unqualified. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you like this story. And this is the condensed version. I, I, I'm sure there's a 30 minute version I could tell if you're interested, but hopefully it gave you some information and value that could help you get a job yourself. Please like and subscribe and join my free email newsletter down below. If you want tips yourself, on how you can get your foot in the door and get a job similarly in Western countries like the US for this type of role.